r slash ask reddit what's not as bad as everyone says assembling ikea furniture the instructions are easy and clear everyone always complains about a single missing piece like an old lego set but i've only ever had extra pieces that made me confused at the end like i missed something i know it's anecdotal but in my experience there are far more extra than missing pieces Honestly IKEA furniture is easier than a lot of other furniture I've put together. Going out to eat alone. Sometimes you just need to sit down and have a meal alone. It's kind of awkward but I noticed that others don't give a shit about you. Sit at the bar. Doing stuff alone. Such as movies, concerts, events, other scheduled activities. Nothing though can match going when you want. Being able to leave when you want and being able to do whatever you want because you are the only deciding factor in the decision. Doing stuff with friends and family is nice, but scheduling can be a beach, among another things. Being honest about how you feel and confessing it to someone. Just tell them you're mad, happy, upset, horny, whatever. Just be candid. I feel completely neutral to this comment. Tell my wife I said, hello. This is a lie. My boss asked me how I was feeling and I said I was horny and I got fired on the spot. The physical withdrawal portion of quitting heroin. The 10 days of physical detox are nothing compared to the years of retraining your brain chemistry to feel joy and happiness without opiates again. It's a ducking hard road but once you get through it life becomes a cakewalk compared to when you were an addict. Then once you are reintegrated into normal society, life becomes ducking hard again but for way healthier reasons lol. And if the only way you can quit is through methadone or suboxone by all means do it. Never feel ashamed for how you choose to seek treatment if drugs are ruining your life. Colonoscopy. The prep for it the night before was way I, I worse. You take a liquid concoction to clean out your bowels. So you essentially are shitting your brains out for hours. Day of is a cakewalk. Sedation will knock you the f out. Wake up shortly thereafter not having felt a thing. I just got my first one about a month ago. And this is 100% true. The 24 hours of fasting and drinking insane amounts of liquid before it was so much worse than the actual colonoscopy. The next generation. I'm so tired of people whining about kids these days as if their own parents and grandparents never said the same about them. Bemoaning youngsters goes all the way back to ancient Greece. In fact. My mill whines about our 16 year old son all the damn time. She thinks we let him play video games too much. He's not into sports. Gets good grades and is active in FFA and chess club. He doesn't want to drive yet. Which is okay. I don't want a nervous kid on the roads. I don't know what exactly she wants him to do. We live in a town of 2000 and there's nothing here but drugs. He's not playing video games 24 7 but she thinks he is for some reason. Leave the kid alone. He's a good kid. Does chores and never back talks. He's also planning on following his brothers into the military. WTF lady? Kids today, never had these problems back in Babylonia. Failing, it happens to everyone at times and there's no shame in it as long as you gave it your best. Be proud of your effort. While usually you'll be judged by results instead of effort nobody really cares about effort as long as it's not blatantly obvious you put none. A lot of people expect you to fail from time to time. Wish I learned that lesson years ago. Before building nearly paranoid fear of any kind of failure, you can have 100% success rate only if you take no risks at all and severely restrict what you want to try out in life. Eating healthy. I recently stated diet, and the amount of food you can actually eat when it's not junk food it's mind blowing. I am losing weight and eating much more food. The word moist. Guys, it's fine. IKR. It just makes me think of chocolate cake. Rich, decadent, moist chocolate cake. Be right back getting out the baking supplies. Being single. You come home, you sit down, and all around there's silence. Everyone decides for themselves whether that's loneliness or freedom. Depends on the person. Being single is fun if it's by choice, and you could easily get in a relationship if you felt like it. However, being single despite trying your best to not be single is absolute shit wouldn't wish it on anybody marriage i never get when guys joke about the old ball and chain you married this woman shouldn't you want to spend your time with her 
My husband loves calling people on that. It's so socially accepted to shit on marriage that people don't even really think about what they're saying about their partners. Sobriety. I cut my drinking way back. To where maybe once a month I will go out for a couple drinks. My skin cleared up. I feel energetic every day. I get up early and I am way more productive. My grades and work performance also went way up. Since I wasn't waking up with a hangover every day. A lot of my anxiety and depression symptoms went away. Not completely. But it made it way easier to cope with severe depression. I was spending hundreds of dollars a month on booze. And now I can use that to buy a new computer. Buy good coffee and eat better food. Deciding to go sober is one of the best decisions I've made in my life. It's not for everyone, but it has hugely benefited me. The only downside is that I really enjoy craft beer and good liquor. But I learned that I would rather enjoy one or two really good drinks a month than a few every night. Brussels sprouts. Facts, my mom taught me to do this special thing where you glaze them in the oven with honey. They're dope. If two beings that are so opposite can agree. Silence. Personal preference. But I'd much rather take small talk or complete silence. Why do you not like talking to others? Because I don't have anything to say. Broccoli. Taco Bell. You'll just need more fiber. Yeah I've literally never had a bad bathroom experience from eating at Taco Bell. Or really any fast food place tbh. And I've eaten there plenty. Message. Legit makes everything taste better with no harm. And worse. Lots of people complain about message. Insist it gives them stomach cramps or headaches. And still eat gobs of stuff with it because they don't know that yeast extract or autolyzed yeast extract in an ingredients list is message sourced from yeast engineered to produce message. Chicago. It's awesome here. Come visit and you'll see. I promise you won't get shot. Don't listen. I am currently being shot in Chicago. At least I can seal the wounds with deep dish and gene and judes. Etymology. I mention word origins to people. And the whole room groans without giving me a chance to talk about how sophomore means wise fool. Or how canaries indirectly got their name from the Latin word for dog. Groans in Latin. Millennials. The ones I know and work with are great. It just became the fill in word for teenagers for so long that people haven't noticed we're 30 now. Tetanus shot. We were told as kids the needle was a foot long. LOL. Changing your truck soil. Just remember to wait about 30 minutes if Yao Vjord came from town. So the oil cools a little. So you don't burn your supple flesh. Sealing in the juices. Shit hurts. Whoa. You made it to the end. You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price. Bru